What's going on, E Nation fans? This is Ian Press 40 here. Welcome back to another Diecast review. And today, it is yet another Formula E Diecast, my third ever Formula E 164. And man, oh man, when I was on my break from work yesterday, going to Walmart and all that, this was pretty much a new release because I've never seen this diecast before. So I'm assuming this is a new release that I got from Walmart. And this is going to be on the Tag Hero Porsche Edition Formula E Gen 2 car. So yes, this is the Porsche team from Formula E. And I'm assuming this is 2021 because it was, because it was released um, like this year. There's a new diecast from this year. And I had to do some research if this was like 2019, 2020, 2020, 2021, something like that. To make sure I got the drivers, uh, the right drivers list of the Porsche team, hopefully the right year. So if this is 2021, uh, this is, um, these cars are driven by Andre La Terror. So if I got the last name right, uh, wrong, I apologize. And Pascal Werlane. And I hope to God I am right. I feel like I'm wrong. Again, I haven't seen Formula E in a while. I don't have CBS Sports Network, so it's it's been forever. So, yeah. All right. Now, because I don't have my normal cutter, I have a random kitchen knife. So, yeah. I got to be careful here. And make sure, like, I don't damage the box. I just, I just like to keep these in the boxes because hot wheels like when you open them and you like find a way to open it right to and not completely rip out the package and put it back in that's what i want so that's what i'm trying to do oh my god that was close all right so trying to get this car out of this box so this may take a while you can like skip fast forward if you want i don't blame you i just want to make sure like I don't ruin the packaging. All right. All right, I think I got it. Oh crap, I cut myself. But I'm good. Just poked. All right, almost done. I think I got it. All right, I finally got the car out of its packaging and new car smell. New car smell. I don't know why I just love smelling like die cast as soon as I open the open the packaging because who doesn't love a new car smell? So I know you're judging me. Don't blame me. I know you guys love new car smell. So I see you judging me. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so let's see what we got here from this Porsche Formula E team. So, of course, right here, we got Porsche, Tag Heuer, Porsche, Positively Charged, Michelin, um, Tag Heuer, Boss, um, Furniture? What is it? Boss, I don't know. And then you got the ABB Formula E Series. And what does it say? Fucking hell, I don't even know what it says. And then we got ABB Mobile One, and um, what is that one sponsor that used to sponsor McLaren when Fernando Alonso, Lewis Hamilton were teammates from like 07, 08, 09, so, far, so on, so forth, and also V8 Supercar team. Vando Son, I don't know. But I, I just recognize that logo. That that gives me that, that one sponsor vibe. I don't know. You got Tag Hero Ansys Formula E once again. And you got the Porsche logo and a little uh, chip on the on the nose. And then, of course, you got the same side as the left. And you got the rear wing. You got two more of these logos. What is it called? My God. Please excuse me for one moment. All right. After doing some research about these logos that I'd recognize... When they used to sponsor McLaren in the late 2000s. Um, and also the, the V8 Supercar, a V8 Supercar team. 
it was Vodafone. So yeah, th like that. Like as soon as I saw that, saw these logos, I'm I'm like, yeah, I know the I know this company that sponsored F1 McLaren, but I don't remember what's it called. So it was Motorphone. So main sponsor of the car is Tag Heuer, um, and Vodafone. But the, of course, the main sponsor is Tag Heuer. It's very cool that I finally got myself yet another Formula E diecast. That's so cool. And I think Hot Wheels has made like four Formula E diecasts. I have three of them. They have the very first Formula E diecast ever made. It was like the ABB car, but it was blue. I have the purple version. Like this is my third ever. This is the first Formula E diecast I have. And this is my second ever diecast I got. Uh, John Eric Verne. So, this is like my only Formula E diecast with an actual driver, since it has a number, and it's Jean-Eric Verne. And then, here is my Porsche one. Very, very cool that my Formula E diecast collection continues to grow. And honestly, I can't wait to continue to get more Formula E diecasts when they make it. And I also heard other uh, diecast company also makes Formula E diecasts. And there's also a five pack of Formula E diecast 164s. Oh my freaking god! I I can't wait to get those soon. Hopefully, soon I can get the diecast, the uh, more Formula E diecast. Very very cool. Of course, it's a good series. I, of course, like people don't like the noises of the Formula E cars, but they're they're an electric series. I know. It's I know it sounds annoying, but. But the but the racing it's something else. It is something else. And man, can't believe this is like they're like they've been existing for like seven or eight years, or almost seven years. And very good series. I just want to catch up with the series to be honest. So yeah. So that is it for the um, hopefully 2021 uh, Porsche Tag Heuer um die cast and i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video comment like and subscribe for more follow my social accounts and links in the description below i am almost to 1800 subscribers and i'm on the road to 2k if you guys like to see these good motorsports related content videos don't forget to subscribe turn on my youtube notifications if i do reach 2000 subscribers i will do that one video that went about eight 8820 made it was about him making noises like various videos of him making noises for like five minutes and 15 seconds um if i get to if you guys help me reach 2000 subscribers i will do a video about that so get to it <laughs> anyway oh that was a terrible fake laugh so yeah uh you can get this at walmart target or any retail stores like i found this at walmart if you guys find it any retail stores and you want it Go get it. So yeah, I want to say thank you guys so much for supporting E Nation. This is your Press Forty Eight signing off. Goodbye, everybody.